Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. So in today's video, we're gonna light up this house and we are gonna be using the Costco kit. So the customer wanted me to install the Costco kit that they bought and we're gonna be putting the transformer over here by the AC unit and then lights uh, around in the front so we'll see how that turns out. And we are also gonna be adding some lights here on the trees. So adds light here to the left side of the house because there are no trees on, I guess there's that tiny one, no trees on the other side. So with that said, I'm gonna jump right into the video. Now before I jump into the video, if you are looking into installing your own landscape lighting, then click any one of my videos in the description below. I have three options that can help you out. The first option is a free PDF that goes over the fundamentals of landscape lighting. The second option is a PDF that goes over all the fixtures, bulbs, and transformers I recommend. And the third option is a complete start to finish course that goes over everything about landscape lighting installation. I've been able to help out a lot of people go through this course and successfully install their lighting with most people not having any prior experience. With that said, I'm gonna jump right into the video. So here we have Josh, he is helping me out. We're unboxing the Costco kit, so here we have each one of these so this is a volt lighting costco kit these are very nice very solid and heavy brass lights and um, these stakes are a lot easier to put in the ground than most other stakes and the bulb already comes in um, the package so when he takes it out the bulbs already in so you don't have to worry about that so we're going to be putting all these together and we've got, I think, about 18 of them that we're going to be using. Then we've got a photo cell. And then we've got the transformer right there, which I'll show you in just a minute. All right, so I put it in a spot where everybody can see it really easily. So we've got our shovel and then our tool to poke the wire in the ground. We have the connectors, wire, wire that came in the box. So. There are, oh, there's four of them. So, I guess there are four boxes. Then all of these lights with the bulb already in, it's a 2700K. We've got our tools. So this will be for the um, transformer, my wire strippers. Um, then we've got our photo cell and timer, transformer, and then our drill. So this is the setup, and then I will show you uh, the installation process. So uh, we're in Texas and we have all these ants, uh, and it's really warm right now. It was cold last week or the week before, and now it's warm. And here uh, we're burying the wire in a sea of ants. All right, so I'm gonna show you the progress that we've made so far. So we've added a few lights in the front. We still need to get the tree over there. So we're gonna run wire up the gutter, or up the downspout across the gutter to get over to that tree. But here we have each one of these lights. So here's the Costco light and there's the other one, it's that one. Now we stopped here and I'll show you how we wire up the light. We have two lights that are gonna be up on the second story and they're gonna come down the drain and the downspout over to this spot and we're waiting to wire up that light until we do these two up here. And I'll show you the mount that we use. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's called a gutter mount. Actually kind of hard to find, but there's 
this. Now, the problem is the Costco kit, the way that the, the fixture is made, it's just a pull. There's no threads. So this actually is not compatible with this light right here. Okay, so here we are at the roof. Um, I've already installed the light over there. You can barely see it over there. Let's see, it's it's that shiny thing right there. So we have it mounted. I, I put some metal screws into it and it's mounted at an angle at which it can hit a little bit over here. Too bad the downspout is right here on the corner, but at least the area that we're gonna cover, it's gonna it's gonna light up this and it's far enough away from the house that it's not going to have a hot spot it's gonna be more of a like light shining on the house so uh, it's if that makes sense so it's not gonna be focused on something a spot like right there it's just gonna light up the general area and then right here we're gonna hide the wire under here and I've made it halfway before I can't reach it anymore with my ladder so I'm gonna move my ladder and keep going Okay, so here is where the transformer is going to go. We have wire there, that's the outlet, and I am burying the wire currently. We have Josh over there working really hard, going through those roots and, and rocks. So here's the trench that he has dug, and there's the light. Um, so I'm burying this, we're going to put 16-2 wire because there's only going to be three lights over here. There's going to be one on that tree, that tree, and one over there. Uh, it's a lot of work for just three lights, but it's going to look really nice. All right, here we are trenching, and it is a lot harder than I thought. So this is Josh's first time trenching, and he said that it was kind of hard. Now I'm trenching, and I'm telling him it's definitely hard. So, yeah, so it's... When you got dirt and clay and rocks, I'll show you a rock that we just pulled out that was in our way. So, yeah. That's what we're dealing with right now.
Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you really are interested in getting help with your landscape lighting project, I'm just gonna go briefly over what this course entails. So I have a welcome page, and I have found that after helping a lot of people that most people install their lighting in about four weekends, so about a month. So I've split it up into different sections that you can do it, and you can go as fast or slow as you want. So the first section goes over the fundamentals of landscape lighting, and then there's the design, your home, which a lot of people need help with this, and there are a lot of really good resources in this section. Then this section goes over what lights to buy and where to get them and then how to go through all the obstacles that you'll face when trenching and then finally finishing up your landscape lighting. And down here, there are some extra design tips if you need more help. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you need help, I've got an affordable option for you. And as always, best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I will see you in the next video.